Welcome everyone to a little tutorial video today. So we are back in Planet Zoo and the Aquatic DLC, including the Aquatic stuff, and today we are going to talk about swimming and the animal behavior. I have already done this for the normal animals and I've gone a lot through the traversable area and how the game functions in terms of the behavior of animals. So in case you want to see this, make sure to check the link in uh, the top right side of the screen right now where the info bubbles are, you can follow that. Today we are going to talk a lot about the actual diving animals and um, there's a lot of stuff you have to consider to be fair. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to look into this while I'm going to fix a little thing over here I just messed up. Um, um, but it's gonna be fine in a second. So um, We are having a few testing stations over here, and we're going to start with the first one Now these three habitats are exactly the same. They are basically inch perfect the same I just copied them over as a blueprint and put them in you can see just to give you a little bit how I set it up We have a water depth of a little bit more than four meters like it's four meters and uh, let's say ten centimeters around and as we know every animal needs a certain four meter requirement to go deep diving and i'm going to show you real quick here for every animal that these are fulfilled so this one is a hundred percent deep diving this one over here is obviously also having a deep dive potential because this is shown here it doesn't require it but it needs to have it to make the diving work then we do have also our seal which is also working and there is also otter is also in here so everyone is working this habitat does work okay so the reason why i set this up is just to show you how the traversable area is looking in this habitat so basically what you can see except a little bit malfun terrain over here which is weird every animal can reach basically every aspect of this habitat as you can see they can go to this platform there is an enrichment item which is on all of these platforms just to make them go there and um, there is something why I have waited till today, Frontier have done a fix and I'm really happy they did because there was something broken. Um, I don't know exactly what it was, but it worked fine in the early access. But once the game was fully released to all of us and the game uploaded um, or updated to the release version, it was basically broken for me. So just to give you a background, this setup over here, which I've shown you already in my first tutorial, which was made with the early access, did work absolutely perfectly fine. Animals could dive below some stuff and it's fine. However, they changed this and actually my animals couldn't dive underneath anything anymore I needed to basically have everything above the water surface level but you can see this is fixed and we have got two different variants here I'm going to show you real quick so this first variant is using just a little wall over here as you can see and I dipped it into the water just about these 10 centimeters that we do have left over here in the water so that they have approximately these four meters however the cool bit over here you can actually go a little bit deeper I'm just going to show you over here and you can see the penguins still uh, just swim down or swim down here just pretty easily you can see they go down just to make sure that they go below that looks actually pretty sick to be honest that looks really cool if I click the penguin you can see now from the traversal area it is all fine there's a little bit of a gap over here obviously because they can't traverse very close to the wall but that's totally fine um, if we click at the seal it can do the same it has a bit more of a um, you know gap in between because they need a bit more space to traverse the other whoops uh, the other basically the same and there is also our friend the um, lovely little caiman and the cool bit about this is you can actually push this down quite a bit so we're gonna go down like two-ish meters over here let's have a little check and then you can see in the traversal area now it's blocked it still does swim here but it's kind of a little oh, okay it still works okay that's fine um, and you can actually see it actually goes down below. I'm um, potentially the seal can't. Oh well, the seal still does it, um, and the other does it too. Now you can actually do a lot more with this. You can see animals still dive through here. And if I, sh you know, push this a little bit further down, let's have a look if this works. I don't know. Sometimes they need a little while until it's refreshed. Yeah, well that one. No, that one doesn't work anymore. What about the penguin? No, that one doesn't work anymore. So this is what I already tested before. This is like about two meters and that should be, wait, can you please? Yeah, there you go. It just needs a moment until it's refreshed. And it's about two-ish meters that you can actually do. So this is the height we can go. Just gonna quickly measure exactly how much it is. Um, just for you guys, we're doing it on the ground. I, I tested all of this already, but uh, just to show it you on the way, um, we can we can basically make it uh, work over here. So we go into the plaster wall one meter. I'm gonna put this exactly to the ground here. You can see it's just just exactly to the ground. And we're making this like a uh, bluish color. And then we go one up and we make this like, I don't know, red. 
So just you can see, there you go. And then we just put another one up here and this is like yellow. There you go. And you can see actually this is like about 2 meter 30, 2 meter 20 around ish. We can actually try to go exactly to 2 meters. I think this is what I managed to have as a maximum. Uh, let's see if that works. I'm not sure. I think with the penguin and the otter it worked. Uh, let me just wait. Uh, not exactly. Or oh, does the otter still work? You can see they still swim over, but this is just like a little bug. Um, it, it doesn't work all the time. Uh, you won't see them. They, you, you will see them swim over, but then exactly this happens. And they, after a certain while, they won't swim over again back, which is a bit of a pity. Now they have their little thing over here, but they can't come back, which is a bit of a pity. So what you need to do then is to just keep pushing it up again. Well, in fact, it will not reset itself over here. Let's just put it back in here and then... Also get rid of these things, uh, just to get the back up, there you go, and then let's have a look. It should actually refresh now itself to have, yeah, there you go, both sides reactivated. Sometimes it is, it's, I, th I think it's somewhat of a measurement of width and height, um, so in case I put back the measurement over here, does this actually change it? Yeah, that's, this is basically what it breaks. So you need to have like a, a maximum width over here. Sometimes, yeah, it just it takes a while until it works again. Um, but you can actually take this as a little uh, rule of thumb. So you say it's like two-ish, two and a half. I would always go like two and a half meters and you're on the safe side. This is basically what we can learn over here. Um, and then over here on the other side, you can see this is basically a, a slightly different setup. This is having nearly uh, the perfect lineup of this above water but it doesn't touch the water whatsoever the reason why i'm doing this is you can actually make stuff like that you can just push this down to have it uh, somewhat like here you know this is what i wanted to do and now let's have a little look if the traversal area still is fine it's not is it that's right, yeah, there you go, it is fine. Now what is cool about this is you can make the animal swim through a certain gate which um you would ask yourself why you would have it, but I did already do some cool viewing galleries where you have some animals swim uh, rather nicely through a little bit of a thinner gap. And the cool bit is you can make a viewing gallery that is a little bit more exciting, you know, have the animals exactly swim at a certain height from A to B, makes the viewing experience for guests a lot better. You know, that is kind of the one thing you want to have. And you can see the animals do actually dive exactly where you want them to dive. You just have to make sure that you have this setup that it doesn't touch the water, because as soon as you touch this into the water, it basically should destroy the traversable area for the animals. Yes, it did, in fact. So um, you always have to make sure that the upper level then is just above the water level. So you just have the surface above it um, in comparison to this method where you don't need to do this. Obviously, you could also now have something from the ground as well. But then you need to have your water volume a lot smaller than that, a lot bigger than that, just to give them the space required. So this is all about this um, from, from these kind of viewing galleries over here. Okay, this is a different setup because I had a struggle in one of my habitats in my dome that the animals would just not use the front area where the guest viewing was. They were always going into the bigger pool. And as you can see over here, the animals are also favoring this backside pool a little bit. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these two areas over here and I'm going to just um, get rid of these things and now I will speed up the game a little bit guys and then you will see what will happen with the animals. So let's just speed up the game so that the guests will all move over here. Uh, we're just going to wait. Um, I really hope that it does re uh, work the same way as it was before but um, I figured that this was something I don't know if they programmed this actually in or it was just on coincidence, but um, after a while, after it's going to be a bit more busy in one area, animals tend to come over. You can see it already starting. The animals come over to have a look what's going on. And so as soon as I left the guest in, the animals will, uh, really will come over to have a look what is going on. So you can see it's getting more populated and of course not everyone is coming over but you can see the animals getting a lot more close now into diving over here and just checking out what is going on in this specific area you can see i'm leaving it on and now you can see it's getting a lot more busy in this area um i thought this was very interesting because i was fearing that the animals would not come over but as soon as there was a lot more stuff going on i think it may, might be something with the um with the animal talks as well, 
um, they will come over, we'll have a swim, we'll, you know, do some stuff, and then they go back into their favorite area, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, now, as they get a bit more stressed, because it's pretty busy over here, they, they stop doing this, but you have seen the effect rather nicely. They will always come over to have a little look, they come to the, uh, actually, they do some actual cool diving here, and then they come over, have a look, and then they go back into their actual backside of the habitat. I thought this is a very cool thing that I just um, discovered on occasion. So in case you have a certain viewing area which uh, your animals do not go because you do, as I do, always play on paused mode, um, fear not, they will come as soon as you have your guests in, uh, which is pretty cool. But now um, there's one more thing we need to discuss and that is pretty dang cool. So we are now in a different kind of little testing environment and I want to show you something first and this is the otter over here. This has not the deep water requirement fulfilled, the penguin hasn't neither and our friend the little uh, guy over here as well not and seal definitely not. So what we are going to do now, we are going to pause the game, we are going to go in here and we are going to get rid of this water okay. So this is what we are doing and what we are doing now is we are just going to take our tool and we're going to make this a little bit more wide there you go and we're going to give them what they need we are going to give them actually enough space to deep dive okay. and fill in the water let's have a look hit pause again and then you can see there is this water over here is fine okay it's fine we have the 100% the penguin has the 100% as well this little otter over here has the little uh, stuff as well if I might be able to click it. Yes, there you go 100% as well and our caiman as well, right? So there you go. This of course has it as well All right, we are back and uh, the animals started to dive in this backside uh, Habitat a little bit more one thing that is pretty cool now and you can see this over here Hopefully in a second this uh, dude over here should do this now for us now this is obviously not a water uh, water volume connected to this one and this one isn't neither and this back one is existing now one thing that is pretty cool we're going to close this off now just so you see and now you will see in a second and i hope that the animals do it for me now just as a little oops showcase all right it took me a while until um it was fixed uh, so it seems there's a little change after the update but it doesn't really matter i fixed it after a while so you can see something happening over here and this is an order um, diving in this specific very shallow water. It's not as deep and you can make it as, it, it doesn't really matter how deep it is. The otters in specific are very likely to do it. The penguins sometimes do it. Um, the caiman also does it. Now the trick is, and it takes a little while until they get adapted to it. We will switch over to my dome just to show you that they actually do it pretty nice after a long while. The animals, as soon as they have their 100% diving need fulfilled, okay, then they seem to be diving in any water surface available to them. And for the most times, they are doing this pretty nice, meaning they just don't dive into the ground, they just really do dive nicely. Sometimes the animation is a little bit bugging into the wall, but mostly look pretty cool. So you can have a very shallow water where the animals do go for a little dive into. And therefore we are just jumping over now to show you in a real time example, uh, or in a real world example I've already set up, um, because this is just a test scenario and uh, I just want to make sure that you guys have an evidence that it does work. So let's jump over and I'm going to show you. So here we are in my actual zoo and you can already see that um, yeah, my little otter is diving in this little very shallow water stream over here. And you can see what I just meant, they are bugging a little bit into the water so I would need to make it a tiny bit deeper to make it look very nice. They won't go deeper than that but sometimes my, my shallow water is like very shallow indeed. Um, but it looks pretty and cool. The reason why they are doing this is pretty simple actually since my habitat does fulfill exactly the 100% deep water requirement that they need. You can see I just managed to do this and the reason why they use this as well is because they use every potential water over here. If you give them like a whole big water area as I did in the testing, they are way more likely to spend time in the whole big one. But if you spread this across little ponds, they are doing this over here as well because you can see this is the actual deep dive area I got them. You know, this is the, the lovely little stream I have like with the little underwater gallery. In fact, if you want to check that out, the video where I make this is also linked in here to the top right in case you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, you have this underwater tunnel. They have a lot of stuff to dive over here. There's the feeder. 
they do like properly dive through here but since this is not enough I needed to give them a little uh, water volume over here and in fact this is the only reason why I made this this was totally coincidental because uh, they didn't have enough water so I gave them a little stream over here just to fulfill the exact requirements of the water in total and then I was figuring all of a sudden oh my god look at that they are doing like like a very nice little deep dive in absolute shallow waters which I think it's like, I mean, just look at that. This is just absolutely magnificent, isn't it? This is just exactly what you would love to have from the game. So you can actually manu 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 manipulate that in in very very different ways, and I think this is um this is pretty cool. So yeah, you can you can definitely make animals basically swim in any kind of shallow water if you want, and if you are willing to sacrifice uh, the experience for a little bit of terrain bugging if you want. Um, but I think, to be honest, you know, just imagine turning this into like a lovely little creek. You know, put some rocks in, make it a tiny bit, uh, you know, make it a tiny bit nicer in the center, um, a little bit deeper here and there. And then just have your otter go through this little creek. I mean, how cool would that be, right? Um, I'm really looking forward to making stuff like that as well. But yeah, I think uh, this is very helpful in case you guys want to uh, check this out as well. Um, I do have actually... Um yeah, uh, some kind of stuff planned for the future as well. But for now, if you guys want to... By the way, have you seen that? This was so cool, like this this backwards puddle over here. But yeah, so um, I really hope you guys found this um, helpful and interesting. So just to recap a few things, okay? So first of all, you can make basically animals dive into another area. Oh, by the way, I can show you another example. This is uh, another example of how you can make animals dive over. You have like a penguin habitat here, and then you have another side here, and they just basically dive down below the bridge here into the other water volume. It's connected, but the bridge over here is like pretty nice and normally animals couldn't swim through but since they can dive um, it's dang good and the only thing you have to always make sure is give them enough four meter water area as required and then it will definitely work so that's pretty cool um, the second thing you have to consider is if you want to make sure that your animals are seen by the guest uh, make sure you have guests because Animals seem to be curious to go into the area where the guests are and they start diving over there in this area. Pretty interesting and pretty helpful to know because I always used to play on pause without guests before I'm done and I was worried, don't be worried, they will get there and will swim in your water volume as soon as you have people to watch them do this. Pretty good. They are needly, needy little stars, you know, they, they need the guest to view them. And the third one over here is just what you're seeing in front of us while this one got stuck. Um, you can basically make animals dive in any kind of shallow water as long as you have enough four meter water depth requirement so as soon as you hit the hundred percent go crazy make some shallow waters the animals will use it and to make them go there the easiest thing of doing is is give them enough of uh, stuff to play around you know give them some food around there and they will more likely go there so this is kind of it and i really hope you guys found this interesting uh while my stuff member is just going to prove my little order away um and yeah if you have more questions to this or other tutorials you want to see go down below in the comment section and let me know if you guys have some questions and then i'm going to answer them or make a new tutorial for that but other than that have a good good day thank you everyone so much for joining the crew lately and in case you want to support me reaching these 50k make sure to subscribe um, for more updates more tutorials more stuff like that and i wish you a very nice day stay safe everyone and i'll talk to you in the next one